Hello and welcome to today's review, during which we'll be looking at the high-grade principality of Xeon Mobile Suit 06S Zaku 2. This custom Zaku suit was piloted by Char Asnabel and features a variety of modifications to put it in a league of its own amongst their ranks and on your display shelves. Now let's dive right in. Giving the box a once-over, the pictures on the sides boast not only an impressive array of armaments, but also poses. I'm pleasantly surprised by this, as I was thinking, given how bulky this mobile suit is, that it would be rather stiff and have limited articulation. And here we have the finished product. The model looks very nice overall without any additions, but admittedly I was very excited to get into panel lining, painting, weathering, and other such detail work. So I did not take very much footage of the finished model out of the box before I began to weather it. So my apologies for that, but now let's get into the tools I used to weather and edit this model. Pictured, I have a few of the items that I use to weather this mobile suit, a few Games Workshop paints and a few Gundam markers. As mentioned before, in spite of its bulky design, this is a fairly articulate build with a lot of possibilities for dynamic poses. The interchangeable skirt on the kit aids this, with one being a soft plastic single piece mold that bends very easily. It is also the skirt featured in all footage contained in this review, and the other being a three-piece hard plastic mold that has a clip for the heat tomahawk included in the kit. While the kit does come with multiple weapons and hands to utilize and make gestures, I can't help but feel that this didn't need to be at the expense of stickers. With only one sticker in this high-grade kit, being the iconic mono eye that the Zaku is known for, Finished builds may seem a little anemic with the two-toned color palette and few decals to break up this monotony. If you are crafty and interested in modifying your finished kits like I am, then this blank canvas is certainly tantalizing. However, when looking at high-grade kits and similar price ranges, the Gundam Bile comes to mind as it is also roughly $18 US, but has six or seven stickers, some of which are reflective metallic types. The stocks on both of the firearms are awkward and make it difficult to pose once the accessory is held in hand, leading the wrists to popping out and falling off. Posing the Zaku with both the machine gun and the bazooka for the sake of this video took more effort than I felt should be necessary. The Mobile Suit 06 as Zaku 2 is a great kit overall. With nostalgic familiarity and an enjoyable build, this is a kit for both Gunpla newcomers and seasoned builders alike. The accessibility of this kit is also incredible, with it being available at Target stores in the U.S. for $18. You do not need to go out on a limb tracking down a hobby store or taking a chance buying online if you are new to the hobby. Well everyone, that is it for today's review of the High Grade Zaku 2. I hope you found this review informative and that you can use it to inform your next Gunpla purchase. If you'd like to see more, then consider hitting that like and subscribe. And as long as I have a backlog, I will see you for yet another build and review. Oh, and one more thing. 